Hey, welcome back. In my previous videos, I mentioned that in both the stratified and cluster sampling methods, the population is divided according to some common feature. Sex and age groups are commonly used as that feature in stratified random sampling, and geographical location is commonly used in cluster random sampling. So what exactly is the difference between stratified sampling versus cluster sampling? When should we use stratified sampling and when should we use cluster sampling? In order to differentiate between stratified sampling versus cluster sampling, we need to review the similarities and differences between the two methods. Both stratified and cluster sampling methods are probability sampling methods wherein both methods at some point in their strategy utilizes random selection. Both methods divide the study population into specific groups based on some feature before selecting the specific sampling units. Of course, how the strategy divides the study population is part of defining stratified from cluster sampling. Let's get deeper into the details. Stratified sampling uses strata, which are heterogeneous groups composed of homogeneous sampling units inside each stratum. For example, a stratum can be based on different age groups, wherein stratum 1 is composed of all young people, stratum 2 is composed of all middle-aged people, and stratum 3 of all old people. As you can see, each stratum is different from the other strata, but within a stratum, each sampling unit is similar to the other sampling units in relation to how each stratum was defined. On the other hand, Cluster sampling uses clusters, which are homogeneous groups composed of heterogeneous sampling units inside each cluster. For example, a cluster can be based on geographical location, where cluster 1 is composed of people living in New York, cluster 2 is composed of people living in London, and cluster 3 of people living in Beijing. As you can see, each cluster is similar to the other clusters in that the sampling units inside each cluster are all diverse and well distributed. For instance, the population of New York, London, and Beijing is somewhat similar in that they are more or less composed of people of varied age groups. But within a cluster, each sampling unit is different to the other sampling units. In terms of which groups are to be included in data collection, Stratified sampling makes use of all strata, while cluster sampling randomly only selects some of the clusters. In terms of which sampling units are to be included in data collection, stratified sampling selects only random sampling units from each strata, while cluster sampling makes use of all sampling units within each selected cluster. In practice, and based on the explanation from this video, cluster sampling is usually done to divide a large population, for instance, a country, into geographically similar subpopulations like cities or towns. This enables the researcher to save time and resources since they only need to collect data from a few cities instead of touring all the cities of a particular country. However, the trade-off is that all persons in each of these selected cities are essentially sampling units for the study, and the researcher should, in theory, collect data from all these people. In contrast and in practice, stratified sampling is usually done to categorize not according to geographical location, but according to some other feature of your respondents that is important to include in your study. Common features are age groups and sex. This makes sense in most cases wherein you want to generalize to the general population, wherein you would want to collect data from a few randomly selected representatives across all age groups or from both sexes, rather than just selecting one of these subgroups. Of course, there are instances wherein geographical location can be used in a stratified sampling an age group or sex can be used in a cluster sampling, but these are more nuanced and beyond the scope of this lecture. Lastly, in deciding which sampling method to use, 
make sure to keep in mind the following factors. What are your study objectives and research variables? What do previous studies say about how different subpopulations influence your research variables? And what are your own methodological and operational limitations? These factors will definitely influence your selection and design of sampling methodology. And that explains stratified versus cluster sampling. At 29 and I find myself wondering What did happen to the last 10? I ran away with my life fast forward and never turned